I first year with my master's degree from Department of English, Bhavnagar University. So today, on occasion of Teachers' Day, I prepare a short video on Rasa theory. So let's start. No meaningful idea is conveyed if the Rasa is not evoked. This quotation is by Bharatamu. Nanti Shastra. Rasa theory was mentioned in the chapter number 6 of Nati Shastra. Nati Shastra was written by a hermit Bharatamuni, which is written in a 200 BC. In detail, description of Rasa theory is given by the Abhinav Gupta, who was the philosopher, and he introduced the ninth Rasa of the Rasa theory, and he introduced ninth Rasa in his work, Abhinav so this is the introduction. So this slide is introduction of rasa theory. The meaning of rasa in Sanskrit or in Hindi language means ras. Ras means juice or a taste and essence of something. Primarily, rasa was used in dramas. Later on, it is used in poetry also. When Bharata Muni was written uh, this work, then there is no type of uh, genre like uh, novels after, in, uh, in that time. And in that time there is a only, there was only novels, uh, there was only dramas and poetry. This essentially writer uses Rasa to convey his feelings and emotion to the re reader. Aim of Rasa. We can say purpose of rasa. The primary aim of rasa during drama performance or by reading poetry is to make the audience or the reader happy and to entertain them. But there is a slightly change in rasa concept of Indian aesthetic. Its supreme aim is to portray the reality to the audience. And uh, when we talk about reality, reality is that reality that the author wants to show the audience or make them feel by the medium of the drama performance. Now, Rasa theory can be seen everywhere. We can see uh, everything uh, which has Rasa theory. Like, for example, dance, music, poetry, dramas, painting, etc. The old form of art has a rasa in their uh, art. Uh, according to Rigveda, there is a six type of rasa, but later in the Nati Shastra, we get a description of eight rasa. And after that, ninth rasa was introduced by Abhinav uh, Gupta. So first of all, there is a Rigveda, and in Rigveda, there is a six type of rasa. After that, uh, Bharat Muni came and he introduced rasa, uh, eight rasa in his work, Nanya Shastra. And later on, in the 900 AD, uh, Abhinav Gupta came and he added one more rasa, which is a Shant rasa, and he introduced this rasa in his work, Abhinav Bharti. So, here is the type of rasas. There are nine type of rasas, like Shingaras, Hasyas, Karunras, Raudras, Viragas, Viragas, Bhayanakras, Vipatsaras, Adhutras, and Shantras. So, uh, I prepared a, a whole PPT for a different type of rasas, and uh, in deep, I am going to talk about all rasas. So, let's start. First ras is Shringaras. Shingaras means the rasa indicates romance and love. It can be seen in many of the dramas dealing with the love stories and it is easily visible in the Indian retro movies which had loud expressions like uh, loud expressions like drama. Uh, when we talk about retro movies, we are going back to 90s movies and black and white movies. We can say that that type of movies are full of drama and full of emotions. And here we, uh, I put a picture like uh, the lady is uh, admiring her beauty while watching a me, uh, while watching her reflection in mirror. So next one. Ah, uh, now I come to a second dress. This dress is Hasya. This picture is a very uh, famous meme. Uh, we can say meme boy. And Hasya means. Hasya. Laughter and comedy. Poets use 
Kalli. She is uh, dancing, and the dance form is uh, Bharatnatyam. And in Bharatnatyam, uh, uh, there is a type of many type of bhavas. Bhavas means expressions. So, uh, uh, lady or we can say dancer of that uh, dance form, they used to perform dramas with the expression. And that type of form were called as a Bharatnatyam. So here we can clearly see that uh, the lady is uh, very sad and she is crying. So uh, here we feel the Karunras. Karunras are denotes compassion and mercy, seeing the tragedy. So now let's come to for uh, let's come for example. I give you an example. For example, when we see Shakespeare's tragedy, we develop a compassion towards the hero. Uh, I talked about. Uh, let me talk about Macbeth. A Shakespearean tragedy. Uh, in our syllabus, there is a tragedy called Macbeth. So, in a Macbeth, whenever uh, Macbeth is uh, failed and uh, in the end Macbeth was died, we feel the Karunras. And we can say the tragedy of Macbeth, whole tragedy, we feel bad for uh, Macbeth. Rogerus. So, fourth rest was Rogerus. Rogerus denotes fury and anger. So, this picture, I told you this picture is uh, Nataraj's picture, or we can say the uh, Shiva Lord Shiva. Uh, uh, he is doing a uh, tandem and uh, Rogerus uh, and uh, Rudra. Rudra means uh, name of Shiva. We can say the Rogerus and Rudra were together means. Rudras. In this picture, we can clearly see the Shiva Rudra was doing Tandav. The base emotion is rage and is manifested through a readiness to protest and resist through verbal aggression and through, uh, through violence and both. Viras. So, fifth verse was Viras. Viradasa symbolized heroism. It is shown by challenging words and deeds, conveying courage, boldness, bravery, and self confidence. So, I put a picture of a uh, goddess. Uh, this is a goddess Durga. And uh, uh, she is performing, one lady is performing uh, uh, the goddess uh, Durga's character. And in this picture, we can clearly see by her expression that she is very. Uh, we just means bravery. She has a self confidence, full of self confidence, and we can clearly see that she is very brave to kill Asur. So next one. This is a Bhayanakras. Sixth class was Bhayanakras. Bhayanakras shows horror and terror. For example, the opening scene of Macbeth, which shows the three witches induced. Some short, sort of terror in the audience. When we see the Macbeth's tragedy and we can say that Macbeth's play or a movie, in the opening scene of the movie, we see the, uh, we see the witches. They are uh, appearing like uh, uh, terrifying and uh, in this picture, let me talk about this picture, uh, the lady is very terrified by her expression. Uh, I think she see something like uh, it is very terrifying. Here I come to a seventh rasa, Vibhas Ras. In this picture we clearly say, we clearly see that the lady is performing Bharat Natyam. And in Bharat Natyam, I told you earlier that the, uh, the lady and the dancer are performing with the expression. So here is her expression shows the disguised and Vibhatsa Rasa portrayed disgust or our uh, aversion it is derived from determinants such as hearing of unpleasant, offensive, impure, harmful, think or seeing the disc uh, discussing them. Here we see that the lady is, uh, I think she uh, uh, sees something disgusting. So uh, her expression was like that. So let's um, further go further. Eighth rasa, adbhut ras. It expresses want, a wonder and amusement. When we see some magical tricks, we can see this rasa. This is the picture. This is the emoji, and uh, this emoji was also named by amuse. Uh, we can say the emoji of amuse. 
Yes. Um, a good rush is uh, 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 is rush like uh, when we see when we are a, ch a child and we go to a magician so and then we see the uh, magician who are doing some kind of magical tricks and then we can feel the good rush. We are amused. We wonder by the tricks. We don't know that uh, this is right or this is wrong, but we amused. Next one. So here I come to end of the rasas. So ninth ras, shant ras was the ninth ras. Shant ras which uh, indicates peace. So shant ras was indicating the peace of mind or spirit, anything. This rasa, uh, rasa requires uh, purity and spirituality. For example, meditation and om chanting. Here I put a picture of. Uh, um, Third eye, and we can say the spirituality aura of something, some kind of uh, spirituality, and we can say the uh, we are human beings, and we our aura is uh, full of spirituality and full of uh, humanity, and uh, shant rasa is filled by meditation and om chanting. So here I am uh, ending with conclusion. Rasa is not something we know. Rasa is not something we know. Rasa is something we feel. Here is talking about uh, like rasa. Rasa is not something we can see. Rasa is something we can feel. So Indian aesthetic is primarily concentrated with the art forms like poetry, music, and architecture. However, sculptures and paintings are also studied. Under aesthetics theories, like the rasa theory is also Indian aesthetics. Uh, uh, rasa theory is also a part of Indian aesthetic. So we can say that the many art, uh, many form of art like dancing, uh, music, singing, these all uh, art of forms uh, will uh, uh, have the rasa theory. So here I am ending my uh, video. Thank you so much for watching this video. After watching this video, you can go in my description box and you will find a, a link of quiz. You uh, please go to the quiz and appear in the quiz. And after appearing in the quiz, you will find the e certificate which is given by uh, given in your email. So go and appear in the quiz. Thank you so much for watching this video. After appearing in the quiz, you will find a blog link in the quiz also and here also you will find a blog link in the description of this video and after uh, watching the, this video and appearing in the quiz, you, uh, you can go on my blog and you will find a whole blog about Rasa theory and uh, also if you want the PPT, you will find this whole PPT in my blog. So, and let me translate this uh, uh, not into Gujarati. So, Jeloko ne English language mein na aayu M na matte chhe ke aaj hum aapko video banana ho. Ena pachi tamam logo jo video joi rahiya chho, to ena pachi tamam logo video ni description mein jai. Ane thi aap liye quiz ni link chhe. Then ma then ma appear. Matlab tamam jo ma jai ane then ma tamam jo thik lagi tamam tick kari ane. नीचे सबमिट नो ऑप्शन हे तो सबमिट कर तक एक सर्टिफिकेट मैं जे लोग जे तमने तरा नाम साथ स्कोर साथ सर्टिफिकेट हे सो तब लोग क्वीज में अपीयर थी और तब ये सर्टिफिकेट में सको त्या नीचे एक हजी एक लिंक आपेली है ये मार ब्लॉगनी लिंक है सो मैं आना उपर एक आखो ब्लॉग भी बनालो है सो तब लोग ते लिंक पर जो है ना ब्लॉग में जो है ना तब लोग आखी पीपीटी पन जो ही शक्षो थैंक थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो